Hi Grizzlies! We just wanted to remind you that course selection is coming up very soon. Juniors, the time is uh, February 27th. You're going to be meeting with the counselors. First part of course selection is learning about all the new classes that we offer. We're super excited to offer some really great classes for you. During our presentation, we'll be going over that. Um, the second part of course selection is when you meet one-on-one -on -one with your counselor where you actually pick classes, talk about um, your requirements for graduation, college requirements, etc. So we're super excited to see you guys coming up and I hope you guys are excited to pick classes for next year. So juniors, remember February 27th, that's coming up real soon. You're going to be learning about the new classes and then a few days later you'll be meeting with your counselors. Sophomores, March 13th is your day to learn about new classes and course selection. Um, and then freshmen, beginning of April is when we meet with you. So we look forward to seeing you guys and we hope you're excited for next year. Good morning Grizzlies, this is Mr. Hackbarth here to promote AP Human Geography. AP Human Geography is an elective class open to all 9th through 12th graders. AP Human Geography is a great opportunity for avid students who need an AP class or for any student looking for experience for an AP class. AP Human Geography deals with topics of how the geography plays a role on populations and migrations, for instance like the Syrian crisis, political decisions both domestically, uh, for instance the wall that's being possibly built, as well as also relating to foreign policy. We also look at how cities locally decide to use their land to create urban developments. I hope you find this interesting. If you do, go ahead and sign up to take AP Human Geography. I'll see you later, Grizzlies. Hey guys, I'm Riley and I'm a senior. I'm Thais and I'm a senior. I'm Gilliam and I'm a junior. And yeah, we're all in the photography class at Michigan Hills. It's a real cool class. It teaches you how to take photographs, teaches you how to use a camera, and it's, it's real fun. The teacher is super sweet, she's really patient, and she's really caring. And you should take this class because it gives you a break from all school yourself and you get to walk around school and take pictures. I mean, how cool is that? Hi everybody, I'm Mrs. Miller and I'm here to invite you to join the yearbook team. Um, it's a college prep elective and it's open to all uh, 10th, 11th, and 12th graders. So come on out, um, just tell your counselor that you want to join and then you want to come grab an application from my room, 515. But you get to use a digital camera and Photoshop and you get to go to all the events and just be a part of an awesome team. So we can't wait to see you and uh, come see me, room 515. Hi, good morning. My name is Mr. Mears. I'm the fire technology teacher for Mission Hills High School. Uh, this, this course is a CTE course that offers the students the availability to learn about being in the fire service. From being a firefighter through the many other services that are in the fire department from dispatching, hazardous materials, wildland firefighting, municipal firefighting. They also learn CPR, first aid, and many other techniques that it takes to be a firefighter. Within that, we'll have a skill session uh, on block days. They're out physically doing uh, firefighting tasks and preparing them for the fire science college's uh, cur curriculum. And uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a hands-on class. There is some academic sides to it. There is testing. There are standards to meet. But it's a two-year program, and you'll get certifications out of this with college credits. And we're currently, right now, um, filing for A to G. Hey there Grizzlies, my name is uh, Mr. Rios. I teach a class here called Mexican American Studies and I would like for you to come and take it. It talks a little bit about the history of the United States, history of Mexico, and also a lot about California history. So if you want to learn a little bit more about Mexican American history, please come and join the class. I'll see you next fall. I'm Chef Sirmana, ASB Director here at Mission Hills. I want to let you know how you can sign up for ASB. First is you can sign up for our class officer elections, which is senior class, junior class, sophomore class officers. Uh, that's president, vice president, and such. Just sign up in the front of the ASB room all next week. You can also sign up to be part of the class, which would be part of an interview process, and you become a commissioner, and then we give you some certain role on campus to do. Basically, it's all different things of how we can make a difference or support programs on our campus. A lot of what ASB do is leadership, and that comes in many different forms. Sometimes it's really fun, from dances to spirit weeks to rallies, homecoming. And then there's an, another part that most people don't see where we're going to uh, senior centers, we're doing random acts of kindness, we're doing eighth grade welcome and eighth grade parent night that we just did. 
Uh, one of the things that we do also is help out with the student store, so we're redoing that right now. Here's one of the things that we're going to have starting next week, which is a microwave cart. If you want to come on in and bring your food from home and heat it up, you can do that for free in the student store. So those are just some of the things that we do. But what we do and how we do it and how fast we grow as a leadership program really depends on you and how many different people come in and actually sign up for ASB and be a part of it. So if you want to make a difference, come join ASB, come sign up in front of the room, come join, come lead. Hi, I'm Sarah Lincoln, I'm a junior and I've been a part of Iron Kodiaks for two years now. Uh, the best part of robotics, I think, was getting the opportunity to learn more about subjects that we don't have at our school, like engineering and computer science programming. And um, I think you should join robotics because it gives you the chance to explore some fields that you might want to do in college and meet some amazing people who also share the same interests that you have. So, just do it. Sign up for Computing with Robotics today.